Vlogmas day five. Okay, so I it's it's twelve thirty. I've been up since eight, but I went and made myself oatmeal and some juice, and then I worked out for a little over an hour, and then I took a bath and showered, and I just you know I got dressed and I started getting on to doing things and didn't vlog. Um, I'll do my advent calendar later because since I worked out, I really don't feel like popping in a chocolate at this moment. Um, mother seems to find that funny. It's not funny. But I'm, I'm actually arguing with my DVD player right now because I want to watch this. It's Ba Humduck. It's the Looney Tunes version of A Christmas Carol. But the DVD player has decided it likes to do this thing where it doesn't recognize that there's a disc in it until you open and close it several times. And there is no number. Sometimes it does it the first time. Sometimes the third time. Sometimes you have to do it 50 times. Some people say you need a new DVD player. I agree with those people. <laughs> but um, I'm also trying to figure out what this is because it's either something that I ordered from Amazon or it's something that my friend got me for Christmas. I'm afraid to open it because I don't want it to be my present. And so I sent it to her and I was like, is this the package that you said I should expect today? And she was like, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Well, I just had it sent directly to your house. So I don't actually know how it looks. and. So I'm like, eh. So out there, that's the washing machine. But if you can see, we'll zoom in right here. Those are more things getting spray painted. As I said, I was running around doing things. Okay, so the second box arrived, and I just decided to have mom open the other one. And this is for my, my other friend, and he doesn't watch these, so I don't mind having them on there. So that is indefinitely from my friend Haley. I will put her from name on it with this marker, and yes, goodness will happen. Well, I finished all of the Christmas cards for the people who I'm not mailing them to, for all the people who I'm going to see in the coming week, and I think now it's a good time to do advent calendars because I just had lunch and so I think it's okay for me to go ahead and open my advent calendar. So let's see, where is day oh, there's day five. Behold you will see, conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. Luke 131. And the chocolate is a little chocolate wreath. Okay, so I finished the last side of my beach box. I have the snowman holder done. It can be used for anything. I have the Christmas one. Let me get it into the light. So cute with the candles and the Christmas tree and all the other things that I'm gonna sell. The last thing that isn't done that I'm gonna do tomorrow is the chocolate frogs. So. I'm chocolate frogs to sell tomorrow at the craft sale and just gonna hope that everything goes well there and oh and this is done I had to respray paint it at the top but it worked out pretty well so that's what I got from there I don't really know what's going on the rest of the day except that I might be baking cookies for a Christmas party which is also tomorrow there's a lot of stuff going on tomorrow. Tomorrow and the next year are going to be pretty busy days. So, we'll see. Later. Okay, everyone. I'm sorry that the vlog's been kind of short and boring today. I've actually been really grumpy today. I don't know why. And I'm just going to show you. We have this going down the banister. Have the garland. And that's a coat that's not a Christmas decoration. And we have all of our stockings. And that one was Santa's. And this is, look how pretty this is at night with the, around the manger. Mother is testing Christmas lights out over here. And these are so pretty. Let me show you these with the lights off. So pretty. Look at that. I'm 
they so pretty? These cute little trees and they have these little snowmen around them. And then, it's cold, I'm not gonna put my coat on. I'm just gonna go right here on the porch for a minute. And we have the brightest lights ever. Look at these things. If Santa needs to make an emergency landing, we've got it covered. And we have mistletoe up here. And we have these lights that change color. And we have all these pretty ornaments hanging up everywhere. And they have little snowflakes on them. We have our snowmen. We bought some more of these so that we could put them out. And ooh, it's cold. It's not as cold as it could be. It's also rainy. And that's the neighbor's house. They always have their lights up. Oh. And so we have this, the tree and the snowman up there. We have a little Santa here. And then just look at the front. And there's a red dog. And there's Frosty. And we have these lights to light up the path. But are these not the brightest lights? Particularly these blue ones. But yes. Christmas. And we have a wreath going up. Look at the wreath. Da 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 da! Wreath! And if we travel in here poorly, because I'm wearing these boots today, which are so difficult to walk in, but I have sushi! I have smoked salmon and California roll. And so I'm going to eat this. I'm also going to end the vlog here because, I, as I said, I've been grumpy. There's nothing else going to be going on tonight. I'm just going to probably be editing the vlog and messing around online. So, yeah, so I will talk to you all tomorrow. Hubert says Merry Christmas, and I hope you enjoy tomorrow's vlog, which should be considerably busier and hopefully a lot less grumpy. So, bye for now. Hey okay, everyone, so I'm going to be baking some coconut ma macaroon cookies. I like to say macaroon just because I like how that sounds even though I know it's macaroon. And so it's a really simple, easy recipe. And I have in here my coconut, the sugar, the egg whites with a little bit of egg yolk that I couldn't save and I'm not wasting the egg, you know, a whole nother egg for that. Kosher salt. That salt could be kosher because I know what kosher means it's specially not processed very sanitary very clean food that mostly Jewish people and uh, Presbyterian type people eat not that there's anything wrong with those type of people I just wasn't aware that there was a salt for that kind of thing and I also didn't know that we were my parents are both Catholic but we have kosher salt for Passover. We don't celebrate Passover. If we do, I've missed it the last several years. And I also need to find out how much lemon zest I need. So I have my lemon and the oven is set for 125. I have my baking attire on and it's time to mix the ingredients. Mixing is going on. And then we're gonna take a tablespoon clump, drop it onto the parchment paper because that's so much better, and then pop them into the oven for 25 minutes. And that's that for now. And there they are. I made that one yeah, so big. It smells so good, though. There we go. Yeah, so.